up the uh, steam, the tropical juice from Texas into the plains. So far in Dallas, you're okay. That may change later on tonight. What a beautiful day, though, in the Northeast. Did you like it? Sunshine, warm weather, humidity wasn't that bad, and it's going to be even nicer tomorrow as the front has dropped off to the south, and that has brought down the humidity just a notch. Western weather changing, too. Remember that string of beautiful uh, days we've had in Seattle? Seattle. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Channel on this Monday morning. We continue to keep a close eye on Hurricane Allison. Allison is a minimal hurricane, but it is packing a triple threat here. One, very heavy rains with the potential for flash flooding in South Georgia and North Florida. Two, the potential for tornadoes in South Georgia and Northeast Florida. We've already had reports of some damaging tornadoes outside of Jacksonville. And three, a storm surge in the Appalachian Bay area. As we take a look at the satellite, we put it into motion. And the center of circulation earlier down to the south, moving up to the north, Northeast and the center of Allison right now is just off to the uh, south of Apalachicola. But we're getting reports in from the hurricane hunters of very strong winds at the surface here, 40 to 50 knots here, headed right towards uh, Appalachia Bay there. So this is our main area of concern for the potential for that surge during the morning hours. High tide uh, during the next uh, one to two hours in Appalachia Bay there. So we could be looking at a surge of about five to ten feet. There's the latest from the hurricane hunters, and Allison continues to move north northeasterly about 14 miles an hour. Or so. Latest radar does show the swirl there just off to the south of Apalachicola. But take a look at that rain there in the Florida Panhandle. Already reports about four to five inches of rain in Apalachicola. Up the beach there in Panama City is the Weather Channel's Dennis Smith with a live report on what's happening there. Dennis? Mark, it looks like a, pretty much the same that we had a half hour ago where the winds still only about 30 miles an hour and the peak wind gusts as they're coming down. In fact, the rain's coming down pretty, uh, pretty much straight down now as it continues to find the uh, outer bands of that uh, squalls of, of rain wrapping around Allison continuing to pull on in. I wanted to show you some scenes that we uh, videotaped earlier this morning before dawn, how the winds were kicking up at that time, uh, probably about 5 o'clock this morning, up over 45 miles an hour. That's probably the strongest winds we had in the neighborhood of 45 to 50 miles an hour with some heavy rain squalls and we also reported some flooding in fact highway 98 has temporarily been closed from just east of our location around Tyndall Air Force Base all the way back over to around Mexico Beach a little bit closer to Apalachicola now the biggest concern for Bay County and the Panama City area will be as the storm continues to move on in fortunately we have the winds blowing out to sea so uh, beach erosion up to this time has been rather minimal however we are concerned about the heavy rain and some road closure and some uh, possibility of flash flooding and also as you pointed out Mark even that potential of some tornadoes as Allison continues to come on in. Do you realize Mark this is the third storm we've talked about in the Florida Panhandle a little over a year or so they're getting kind of weary of, uh, of seeing all these storms come into this part of Florida. And uh, a quick update on how's life going on there this morning cancellations businesses any word on that yet? As far as I know, most of the schools were already closed as of word from yesterday that they would not open this morning. Businesses were on a business-to-business -business, uh, uh, agenda, and so you had to check in with your own location, see what was going on. But uh, activity is slow to get up and get started on a Monday morning. They're kind of riding out the storm from the word they had last night before they went to bed and just kind of monitoring the weather channel to see what's going on this morning. Okay, a wise thing to do. Thank you very much, Dennis. We'll hear from you another half hour from now. And as we continue to monitor Hurricane Allison, again, hurricane warnings continue from Pensacola to Anclo Key there. And the threat for that storm surge, especially from Apalachicola to Cedar Key, could be looking at a surge of 5 to 10 feet this morning. And that tornado watch covering a large portion of North Florida and through South Georgia. And again, very heavy rains with the storm as well. We'll keep you updated on Allison uh, throughout the day. And right now, look at the nation's weather with Vivian and Rick. Okay, Mark, another check on your tornado watch that remains in effect for the rest of the morning hours. You know, any landfalling hurricanes have the potential to produce tornadic activity. So we include the panhandle of Florida, the northern peninsula, south central Georgia, and the southeastern parts of Alabama. We'll keep you posted throughout the rest of the day. This is not the only area of severe weather. We have another threatening area, and that's from southern Minnesota back into the Red River Valley of Texas and Oklahoma. We've been watching an upper level low pressure system out of the into mountain west to move east and actually as that 
Apalachicola, Florida. I think it's a little bit more towards the southeast of Apalachicola, Florida here. Top wind 75. Uh, along shore, we've only had winds of 30 to 40 miles an hour or so, but the triple threat will be from the heavy rains in North Florida and South Georgia. Once again, it's put down a fair amount of rain over the course of the overnight hours, and this morning, four to eight inches of rain between Panama City and Tallahassee, Florida. Looks like that brightest spot right about here. That's about the center, a loosely defined center at best. Some dry air now undercutting in Tampa and over by Daytona Beach. Still, though, some onshore flows, so still, as we're approaching the high tide time across the western side of Florida, could be some abnormally high tides. Unofficially had some reports of tides running eight or nine feet above normal up around the Appalachian Bay area, and even some minor flooding down as far as Pinellas County, where some tides were two to three feet above normal. But again, things will be improving in Florida. Let's check out the zoom in for you. There's our bright blob. That is about where our center is, roughly about 30 miles to the north of Aldosta, Georgia. It took a while, but the rain did back into Atlanta. Some of the rain's been fairly heavy, Macon closing in on two inches of rainfall. We've had about that much in Valdosta. Again, a lot more in Tallahassee over to Panama City. But now Panama City, we've had some breaks over the past few hours, so we have salvaged a pretty decent afternoon. Here are your latest coordinates as of 5 o'clock. The center of Allison at 31.3 north and 83.2 west, 30 miles north-northwest of Valdosta. Top winds at 40 miles per hour, so a minimal tropical storm and moving off to the northeast to 16 miles per hour. That's good news. Pressure down to about 992 millibars, or actually up to 992 as it is filling or weakening. Let's check out the radar view now after a look at the tornado watches in South Carolina and Georgia. So Savannah, Columbia, and Myrtle Beach, still watch out as these storms could zip up in your direction. Flood watches in eastern North Carolina, all of South Carolina, and roughly the southeastern half of Georgia. And these rivers are going to be running a bank Full, the Flint River and the Oak Mulgee and the lower Savannah Valley. It'll take a while, but these rivers will fill up overnight tonight and over the next couple of days. There's that radar showing our organized low. We'll still see a decent curl right about in here, and your heavier rain now showing up in the areas in the yellow, south of Macon down towards Warner Robins. Florida in better shape, but there is a special rain warning out now for the Gold Coast area from Deerfield Beach down Key Largo. Storms are rumbling on through. Now here's our Doppler radar. This is our composite, the compilation for the entire storm. And you can see in our legend here, three to four inches across a lot of southwestern Georgia. Then you see these little red bulls size, anywhere from six to about eight or nine inches of rainfall between Tallahassee and Panama City. So I'm sure a lot of back roads are still flooded out in parts of Bay County and on down towards Franklin County and Gulf County near Apalachicola. Northern edge of our rain getting up around Charlotte. Raleigh is steady a rain, actually from Durham to Raleigh down in Wilmington. That rain slowly lifting northbound. So eventually Emporia, Richmond, Williamsburg, and Norfolk, you'll be getting wet overnight tonight. Well, here's our big picture, a beautiful day back east, Philly, New York, Boston. It is unleashed on a tiny coastal town halfway between Panama City and Apalachicola. The rains howled, the winds blew, the palm trees shook, and there was more. Apalachicola, early morning, just before sunrise, and the waters are quiet, the trees barely moving. People here wondering, would the storm come? They found out just hours later, as the floods began to come in off Apalachicola Bay, it's creeping up and around houses on stilts, sliding through neighborhoods, leaving police driving through puddles to fenders, wondering would there be more? Would the boats come washing ashore? Or had this storm left this town alone? The fact was, for the most part, it did. And the new bridge to Apalachicola Bay never closed. A different story at nearby St. George Island. Main Street, man and beast underwater. The surf coming ashore. It happened early morning, leaving many houses next to flooded, many shingles falling away. Many residents feeling lucky. Can we compare it to uh, Andrew? Where this is a really nothing. So sure. we're, all, we're all pumped up about that. It's not that bad. Yeah, how? Allison continues to weaken now. The latest coordinates puts it in Georgia. Near